Hey everyone, welcome to Soulfish. I am super happy you are here. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. I want to remind you that tomorrow is Thank You Thursday. And what do we do about that? Well, Thank You Thursdays are where we give a free t-shirt to one of our subscribers who's commented in the last 30 days. And um, as a thank you, as, as a thank you for supporting our work, supporting our channel, um, all of that. So if that's of interest to you, make sure you uh, sign up and also make sure you uh, um, participate with our community. Yeah, I don't know about you, but for me, I've been going way back, way back, like high school way back. And I know with what we're going through and us dropping off stuff and dropping off this baggage that we carry, right? That in order to drop it off, you have to change your perspective about whatever that event was and what occurred. So, so, so in the process, I'm sharing this with you because I know it's happening for you as well. And I wanted to share how I'm going about it. How do I face something from the past? And then how do I work through that? So in this case, um, in high school, um, I had this issue come up with a teacher and I was on a sports team and, uh, uh, and the teacher place or the coach, I guess I should say, put the other guy ahead of me, even though um, it was obvious that he wasn't at the same caliber of performance or whatever. The whole team saw it, I saw it. I was really upset about it at the time. Um, and it still twangs me and I wondered, well, well, what is the real issue there? I mean, we're talking 30 years ago, right? Like this is something way back then, so what was it? And I realized that for me, it wasn't that, you know, I didn't start or uh, uh, the ego around that kind of stuff. I think for me, it was more of feeling disrespected or that somehow whatever that coach was looking after that other kid with the bestest of intentions, you know, was at my detriment. Right. And so um, and I really felt that way and it limited some of my options in terms of what I might have done. That's how I felt about it. So having said all of that, how do I work through that issue? Well, now I'm looking at it and saying, hey, wait a minute. You know, I didn't take that position as seriously as maybe I should have. You know, I had a lot of fun <laughs> when I was there and, and with the team and I kind of kept everybody up and joked around a lot. Maybe, maybe he didn't like that. Maybe you know, he knew more about my circumstances and knew this other kid's circumstances and maybe in his bestest judgment uh, felt like he needed to give this guy a lift up because I was okay. So maybe that's the issue. Maybe the issue is with the bestest of intentions, um, You know, it still didn't work out. I don't know. I've never spoken to any of these people in 30-something years. But, but I'm bringing this up to you to say, for me, I have to realize that everyone does the best they can, given all the information that they have, and what they think is best. In other words, what they, it, it, with the right intention, right? With what they think is best. And so now I'm starting to look at this and say, hmm, you know, maybe this other guy really wanted to play baseball in college and I didn't. Maybe this other guy really needed this for confidence, for family issues, for whatever, that I wasn't faced, you know, with some of those challenges. In other words, maybe this is much bigger than just my perspective and how it made me feel. And that maybe there was a lot more going on that I should give credit to. Um, and maybe forgiveness is the wrong word, but like understanding and, and, letting go of both how I felt about it, but also, you know, the coach's perspective and what he was trying to get accomplished. I don't, he wasn't a bad guy, so I know it wasn't um, anything too per, super malicious or anything like that. Um, I just felt like it was not just, if that makes sense. And we all know that this place is not about justice, right? So um, it's interesting though, right? I mean, if you share, if you feel what I'm saying to you, if, if you know, in sharing this with you, I'm saying, hey, you know, when I look at it strictly from my viewpoint in terms of how it made me feel, it's not a good situation. It makes me feel awful. 
But you know what's interesting is when I open up and I start to think about all these other factors that as a kid I had no idea about, right? Because I'm, my head is not in that place. And of course I'm not, I'm not the adult, I'm not the coach, and I'm not uh, involved in what he may know about what's going on at somebody's home or whatever else, right? So I don't have any of that factors to, to uh, when I just look at myself and I'm feeling bad. But when I take all of that other stuff into consideration like I would today, at my age today, and looking at a similar situation, um, it really helps me to let all of that go. And I hope, I hope that that coach made a great decision. And I hope that whatever happened then, that that other person blossomed in life and, and is amazing. Um, and so when I come from that place, guess what? It allows me to dispel it. Meaning, I no longer have a negative charge. I don't have any charge now. Now it's now it's just something that occurred, and I'm very and I'm glad because it set me on a different path, right? So I can look at all of these other things when I get myself out of the moment of frustration, downerness, despair, depression, anger, you know, injustice, you know, all of these kind of feelings, right? When you take yourself and you're able to push that off and you're able to say, wait a minute, here's a bigger view, it sure changes everything. So. If you're facing a problem from way back, try to sit down with it now at your perspective today, with your spirituality today, with your character today, with your experience and age, and look at it and try to figure out where there's a lot more going on and what if there was and I wasn't aware, well then all of a sudden your feelings become much smaller. Do you see that? And because you saw a much bigger picture of what really happened there and how you fit into that bigger puzzle. And in some ways, that's a really beautiful thing. I hope that's helpful. Much love.